but there are concerns about the high cost of private health care in South Africa and whether it's accessible and affordable for ordinary South Africans. In light of this, the Competition Commission has launched the Health Market Inquiry into the sector. Now, COSATU, Section 27, and the World Health Care Organization, among those who've made presentations, and that was yesterday in Pretoria. Now, we're joined in the studio by Umunyana Rujeje, an attorney at Section 27. Umunyana, good morning, and thank you very much for coming in. Good morning. It's a very important topic, this, because it's been really bubbling around for several years now, and the Competition Commission has been looking into it. There's been a lot of research done. Now, finally, the public hearings have started. You are one of those organizations who made presentation yesterday. Mm -hmm. Can you just tell us exactly your key concerns around the cost of private health care in South Africa. What did you tell the Commission yesterday? Well, our starting point is always the Constitution of South Africa. We have a very progressive Constitution that is really about social justice and transformation of this nation. And so we look from a perspective of what are we trying to achieve. Um, in particular, the right of access to health care services is an important right. It's, a, it's something that's so fundamental to every human being to be able to realize you know, their best potential. Um, and we want to see a progressive realization where more people are having better access to healthcare services. So our court um, submission yesterday was to frame the inquiry, to say that the inquiry should look through the lens of the constitution at these various stakeholders. It's a very complex industry, the private healthcare sector. Um, and that's why it was so important to have this kind of inquiry to really understand how the sector operates and where there are barriers to access and what can be done about it. Yeah, and I guess the coming to the cost and talking about the constitutional right in terms of access to quality health care, I think it's a small minority of us in South Africa who can actually even afford to have medical aid that will pay the bills in private hospitals. Right. It's 17% it's of the population, which is several million people. Um, and there are a lot of people who also access completely out of pocket. So there are people who do not have a medical aid, but will go and pay for a GP, um, pay cash for a GP, will pay for other kinds of services, will buy medication from, from, a, from a private pharmacy. So there are a lot of people accessing healthcare, but the whole point of having this kind of transformative document is to increase that number so that we're not looking at a very narrow sector of society. And, you know, we're looking forward. We're looking, you know, 10 years, 20 years down the line to ensure that more people are getting access to really quality healthcare and that we don't see so much inequality in access to healthcare services. Yeah, so I guess the lack of regulation of the sector is also top of mind here at, at this stage. Does Section 27 have a view on how to regulate or is the Section 27's view going to be informed by the national health insurance that the government has been proposing and that we're still waiting to be rolled out? I think we'll be informed by what comes out of this inquiry. There's a great deal of work that has been done in order to an analyze um, this sector. And there'll be information coming out of this inquiry that will inform policymakers, that will imp in inform activists, academics, um, and to, uh, to work together to improve the system. Because it's a very unequal system. Um, and we want to see improvements in that area. Mm -hmm. And price regulation is one area that we talked about yesterday. Today. There is a, a gap in that area and there have been attempts through the last 10 years to put in place some measures to control costs. Um, there's been a lot of litigation in the sector. There have been proposals that don't come to completion. So really what we want to see is not this fragmented approach to regulation, but really a core understanding of how the system works, how it can be improved, and how then to best regulate it if indeed um, regulation is required. Now, South Africans have been waiting for quite some time now for the national health insurance that the government has been talking about. With all, that's the, all still in the process. This particular inquiry by the Competition Commission has been long in the making. Mm. As you said earlier, there's been a lot of work done already in preparation for it. Are, are, you, are you hoping that it can be expedited somehow as Section 27 or you want it not to be rushed so we make sure that we come up with the perfect or near perfect solutions? I think NHI, you know, is a long-term pro uh, process. Um, I think there are stages, we're looking at this stage at the next 15 years. So I don't think it's, it's, it's necessary for us to rush to conclusions. I think the inquiry is important, but there are other consultative processes that must also happen to, you know, with various areas of sectors of society to ensure that we end up with, a, with an NHI that works for the majority of people.
March. That's Umunyana Rujeje and Ateni from Section 27. Diaspora Forum's Johnson Emika giving us uh, their take of the elections that are taking place in Uganda this morning.